Hello YouTube, this is Drawing Kid 1313 and welcome to another installation tutorial. Now in this tutorial we are going to be showing you how to install not enough items to a server. That way you can have a whole bunch of people on there and you can all use not enough items and cheat your way through the game of Minecraft. Or you know just use it to look up the recipes. But anyways, I'm going to be showing you on how to install it to a server. I'm not going to be showing you how to install it to your client, even though you do have to have it installed to your client. If you want to find out how to install it there, you can go ahead and refer to the description. And under useful links, I will have uh, links to both my Mod Spotlight video as well as my installation tutorial video. I will also have a link to how to set up a Minecraft server. That way, if you're you know confused about how to set it up like that, you can go ahead and just do that. So today we are working with Minecraft 1.4.2, it just came out this week, and yeah, the installation is pretty much the same for any other version of Minecraft, and I would imagine that it's going to be the same for the future versions of Minecraft to come, so just keep that in mind. We are also using a regular vanilla server, since Bucket has not yet updated to 1.4.2. So let me go ahead and show you how to install it. There are three things that you are going to need. You're going to need Code Chicken Core, and you're going to need not enough items. You can get these by going to this website. The link will be in the description. And just go ahead and go to this site right here. And if you scroll down, you can find Code Chicken Core. Click the download button. Just click the download button. Don't download the source. Don't download the bucket. Just click the download button. Same with not enough items. Go ahead, go down to install instructions and downloads. Click the download button. Don't click anything else. And once you have those downloaded, you're going to go ahead and you're going to find Minecraft Forge. Now, Minecraft Forge has not officially updated 1.4.2 just yet. I believe they're having a few troubles and issues with their website. So the way you find this version, and it's a little bit tricky, but again, the link will be in the description. That way you can find it. You're just going to go to files.minecraftforge.net. This will take you to this odd little interface right here with no nothing else. And you can see all the versions of Minecraft Forge, pretty much. And what I did, I just downloaded the latest one, 6.0.1.339. It's updated yesterday. Yep, it was updated yesterday. And just click on Universal. Click on Universal. Do not click on Source. Do not click on Javadoc. Just click on Universal. All right. Once you have that downloaded, you're going to go ahead and you're going to put all these into a convenient spot. That way you can access them during the installation. And then we're going to go ahead and get started. First, you have to install Minecraft Forge to your server. So in order to do that, just simply go to your server, find the server.jar, uh, the Minecraft server.jar, right-click on it, and you're going to open it with some type of archiving program. Now, I have WinRAR, but you could also use like 7-zip and, like I said, any type of archiving program. Once you're here, do not delete the meta-inf. A lot of time when you're doing installations and you're installing things to the client, you the first thing you do is delete the meta-inf. You're not going to do that here. You do not want to do that. It'll actually mess things up, so don't delete that. Cannot stress it enough. Next thing that you're going to do is you're going to open up Minecraft Forge, and then you're going to select all of everything, CPW, all the way down to ZR.class. Click and drag. Click OK. And there you go. You have installed Minecraft Forge to your Minecraft server. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on Run because we want to uh, make sure that all the folders are generated and we also want to make sure that everything is working and so far there's a whole bunch of random mumbo jumbo that comes up but trust me it is all working because it says done yay and it only, it only took six seconds so now I'll just simply type in stop because we want to stop the server and we want to just kind of get out of it and then once it exits out and it's all stopped you can go ahead and now we see you see this huge thing? We see a whole bunch of other folders. We see config, core mods, lib, mods, world, band IPs, players, all this fun stuff. The one that we're concerned with is core mods. With the core mods, you're simply going to click and drag code chicken core and not enough items into here. Make sure you're using the versions that I am. All right. If you try this with a different version and it doesn't work, I'm going to tell you to use the versions that I'm using because I'm 100%, 101% certain that they work because, well, I'm doing it like this, so, yeah. So you have Code Chicken Core 0 0.6.6 .6 and Not Enough Items 1.4.1. Once they are in there, you can go ahead and you could run the server. 
going to make sure that everything works. Now, it's a little bit strange, and I have no idea why this happens, but it does give you a few errors. And I looked through it a little bit, and now I'm not much of a uh, modder or a programmer um, or a, uh, you know, I don't really know much about Java programming, but I've noticed that it has something to do with the uh, sound code that Forge has uh, newly implemented in the newer versions of Forge. But nonetheless, it still works. You still get that little done message somewhere. It says it's somewhere. Yeah, see, done. So it still says done. It's just that it gives you a few other crap on your screen. Now we can go ahead and launch Minecraft, and we can actually log on to the server. I'm just going to show you that everything works. So, as you know, whenever you install, install a model onto a server, you also have to have it on your client. So, I have the same version of Minecraft Forge on my client. Um, you actually just use all the same files, all the same everything. Uh, they're no longer on my desktop, but you use... Everything is the same. Since Minecraft uh, single player and multiplayer it was joined in 1.3.2, you no longer need different files for server and uh, client side. So just keep that in mind. You use all the same versions, all the same files. Now we're going to go to multiplayer. I already have it set up right here. And watch. As you can see, bam. You're going to see that I joined. And you can see, let me drag this over, that I am now in the world and I'm doing stuff. Okay? Again, I cannot stress the importance of installing everything to your client as well as the server. I had just tried it and as you noticed nothing came up in my inventory because I didn't have not enough items installed. So I paused the recording, reinstalled it and you can see that it is right there and right there. Now as you can see when I open up my inventory I have not enough items and all that but I can't give myself items because I'm not in cheat mode. I don't have all those extra buttons up there, so I can't do anything. Why is this? Well, it's because I'm not an op. So if I just go OP, drawing kit 1313, it'll go ahead and it'll op me. It'll see server op drawing kit 1313. Now I can go in here and I can give myself as many items as I want. I can even you know, give myself infinite items if I so wish. Then you could also do things like turn on creative mode, turn on rain, make it nighttime, turn magnet mode on, delete, delete all items, you can heal the player, you can do all that fun stuff. So, awesome. It works. I've made a few mistakes, but hey, I'm only human, and uh, most of them I do not edit out. So, that just shows you what you can do wrong, yeah, but at least I show you how to fix things. So, Anyways, this has been Drawing Good 1313 with an installation tutorial on how to install not enough items to a server. Again, if you have any other questions, like how to install it to your client, or how to set up a server, look in the description, and there will be links in the description for that. If this video has helped you out in any way, you can go ahead and help me out by liking the video and sharing it with some of your friends, and will allow them to see my video, and then it will help them as well. Um, other than that, I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in my next tutorial.